build the walls for the carriage house. And then the next video we'll do the roof and dormers. Um, so this one should go pretty quick. Um, we're going to start by opening up a new plan. And you should already have the template. So you're going to get this um, basically four walls. If we look at it in 3D, it will look like this. So you guys already have, should already have four walls. Uh, we'll go ahead and save it. Make sure to save, otherwise you will not get automatic up. Uh, the, it won't automatically back up. Um, we'll just call this one carriage house test. Let's see, we'll just do that for now. Um, if you don't have walls, or if you're starting from blank, you're going to go to your wall tool, pick exterior walls, or WE, and you going clock counterclockwise, you start building your walls. And then from there, you can just start by measuring out, you going with the these dimensions, these are the temporary dimensions. So if you click on this wall, you can make it click on this wall go in hover over the temporary dimension and click on it and you can set the exact dimensions it's good habit to do this with the outside dimensions so one thing we can do is automatically put those in with the automatic dimension tool which can't find at the moment. Let's see. There it is. Auto exterior dimensions. Okay, see how that populated? So now I've got automatic exterior dimensions and I want to set those to even numbers. Um, concrete guys are not gonna enjoy building their forms to 17 foot three and a quarter. Let's go. Might change that. The other thing, notice I'm in the main floor plan. Let's go ahead and kick out and go to a working set by going up to none and working set. Because remember, the layer set that I was in is sort of the presentation. And so I want to be in a layer set that I can turn on and off layers and not ruin the auto saved layer set that will affect my layout sheets. So one thing I need to do, this is a garage, open up by doing shift E to open up the dialog box for the room, change the room to a garage. and go into structure notice that the floor height is zero that's going to be the same height as the main floor um, but as you know the floor of a garage is going to be lower than the main floor as it's sitting on a concrete slab so we're going to change that right now let's do negative 24 hit tab and the reason why you hit tab instead of enter is because that then updates all these other fields and sometimes it's nice to see um, if those those are gonna work um, the ceiling structure is fine there's no roof over it yet ceiling finish there's a floor under this room and it's a um, you can go into here and see that the floor is four inches of concrete which you can change but we're not going to because that's what we want I'm gonna hit OK now the label automatic label turns it into a garage so I'm gonna put some windows in here and depending on the style that I want for this, um, if I'm doing a you know traditional home, New England, something like that, a single hung like that would work. Um, let me change it to a 30 inch by 66. I would just stay consistent on those um, dimensions or on the on your windows as far as proportions is important. So 
So I'm doing CO and reflect to copy these over. Um, now I'm going to put in a door. By the way, I should, it's CO and then MM is to reflect. Or I can copy it by Command C and then Command V and place it in center. I'm going to do a doorway, sorry, a garage door. Now notice I have my children handles here. So once I open up these tools, I'll get the the smaller tools on the left. And actually, I'm just starting to use it that way. And I think it just saves a button or two, click. So I want to go to my garage, garage door, same thing there, boom, boom, and place a garage door. It looks like the default, so a large door, um, a 16 foot door. And notice this is 180 inches, that's the width. If I wanted to, I can change the numbers down here to reflect um, feet and inches or decimal. So just something that sometimes is helpful to do if you don't want to do the math. Um, on this carriage house, I'm going to go with a 12 foot. I'm going to look at a 12 foot door. I might change that um, by 10 foot tall. Notice I did 10 and it's automatically going to assume inches. So I want to do 10 feet for it to be 10 feet and zero from floor and that looks good I can go up here and change the door style here or I can find it in the library and replace it and I'll show you how you do that so now I've got a door two feet from the ends that's a little tight I think it's nice to be two and a half to three feet so as you pull in you've got some room but it is a 12 foot door so, and this being a carriage house, we may want that slightly skinnier. So let's go ahead and look at that in 3D. Pretty basic. Um, I think I want to change the door. So I'm going to type over here, garage doors. And if you've downloaded all your libraries, you should have lots of options. Um, you can have arched doors. Um, in fact, there's Clope and Amar. I don't think there's Martin doors in here, but there are some manufacturer brands. I'm going to go ahead and just pick one that I like. Not that one. Let's see if I can find it. In fact, I'll just go to the Clope Coachman series. I, do, I use these a lot in the field. They're the best looking for the price. No, it's not pulling up. So here's how we get it. So Clope, manufacturer catalogs. Oh, there it is, Coachman. Series one. Pretty sure that's what we have here. Yep. Maybe this one. Looks good. And let's change the color to down pipe. It's kind of hard to see, so I'm going to switch to my vector and turn off my shadows. SW. And my vector mode is the number 9. Standard is number eight, and PVR is number zero. Until I mess with the PVR lighting, it's gonna feel foggy and weird. So vectors nine, SW, turns on and off shadows. I can also turn off the sun by SN. But right now it's not making a difference. Oh, it is actually. It's just hard to tell without a background. And of course, if I want a nice, pretty background, um, you can search a background. I like to use field and just put, put it there. You can take a picture of anything and upload it and use that as your background. 
So here I have my garage. Now I want to do is I'm going to go with the shingle style and nod to Patrick in New England. So I'm just going to type shingle. I have shingles already uh, manipulated in here. Natural. Probably do a gray shingle. And if I paint this, I'm going to paint, it's going to paint this side. I want to go in here and paint everything in the floor plan that's siding. Now, that paints the whole garage. And that was by using this tool down on the bottom left. This will paint an object or a component, an object, everything in the room, everything on the floor, everything in the plan. Be careful with everything in the plan. Sometimes you inadvertently paint your concrete, all your concrete brick colored and it's going to turn your whole foundation into brick um, or something similar. So those are the ways you can paint an object, everything in that object, a certain color to make it faster. So here's what my carriage house looks like. And I think that looks pretty good. Um, let's build the foundation. Right now we don't have a foundation. It's just floating on the grass. And this is really easy. Go back into the floor plan and go to our floor build tool, build new floor, insert new floor. We don't want to insert one. We want to build foundation. Build new floor would go up, build foundation will go down. So right now we're going to build foundation and let's go ahead and turn that on. Walls with footings and we can set the height of our foundation. If we're doing a basement and we want to do eight foot stem walls, we're going to do eight foot plus an inch and a half. So it'll be 97 and a half inches is our stem wall, which is our foundation wall. Um, because this is a carriage house and there's no basement, we're going to stick with our minimums and frost depth is 30 inches below grade. So typically they dig 36 inch hole. So we'll keep it at 36 for now, uh, including seal plate is 37 and a half. You can change that back, 37 and a half. And then this tells us that the garage floor to stem wall top, so this would be 12 inches below the stem wall top. I'm gonna change that to six inches. And minimum garage height. Oh, these are specific to the garage handles. So you have stem walls, and then a garage responds differently. 